بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجهم The month of Ramadan is the month of a'mal These beautiful deeds, rituals, a'mal bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala They make us better human beings They allow us to ascend spiritually However, many of us when we are faced with the sheer quantity of these a'mal, sometimes we feel deflated. Sometimes we feel intimidated. A brother once told me, Sayyid, on the nights of Qadr, I feel intimidated. I have all these a'mal to complete, and I'm not sure if I will complete all of them. Many times we have difficulty focusing on those a'mal. What is a good recommendation to benefit from these a'mal and to interact with them. The best recommendation that we learn from our beautiful faith is to focus on quality rather than quantity. Some of us get caught up in the quantity of a'mal. I have a list of a'mal I need to finish on the nights of qadr, on the nights of power. And in doing so, in rushing through these a'mal, I don't really feel the spirituality of these a'mal. I don't feel them impacting me. What's going on here? Focus on quality rather than quantity. What's the point of preserving the quantity but you don't allow your heart to interact with these a'mal? Once a brother who was reciting dua al-jawshan, and you know it's a long dua, has a hundred verses, and in every verse we say, khallasna min al-nar ya Rab, O oh Allah save me from the fire of hell. This brother said, I couldn't focus anymore. It was too much for me. So at the end of the dua, I kept saying, Khallasna min dua al ya Rab. <laughs> That's not the, the type of night, of night of power that you want to have during this month of Ramadan. So how can I improve the quality? Take selections from these beautiful prayers. Study them during the day. Know the content. And then at night, in Laylatul Qadr, allow your heart to interact with that content. It's about quality contemplation, purposeful tafakkur. Think of these beautiful du'as. Take 10 verses from Dua al-Jawshan. Study the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Write what those names mean, and then on Laylatul Qadr, say those names, read those verses, and allow your heart to feel the presence of Allah through those attributes. How can I benefit from these names of Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has beautiful names. You can use His names during any state that you're in. If you feel you're depressed and your chest is tight, remember one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al wasi' Allah the vast. Look at the vastness of this universe. Look at how He created this universe so vastly. If Allah has created the universe so vastly, He cannot expand my chest when He is the expander of the universe. Allow your heart to interact with the quality of these a'mal. That's what's important to achieve in the month of Ramadan. Amirul Mu'mineen wa Sayyidul Muwahideen Ali ibn Abi Talib salam gives us a beautiful recipe in his sermon on Al-Muttaqeen, the pious ones. The Imam Ali Salam states, "Amma al-layl fahum safoon aqdamahum, taalina li ajza al-Quran." At night, when everyone's asleep, they stand on their feet. You want quality amal? Stand on your feet. Visualize the day of judgment. It's like the day of judgment. I'm there. This allows you to interact differently with the Quran. The Imam says they stand on their feet. They read parts of the Quran. Take a few verses from the Holy Quran. Try to reflect on them as you're standing on your feet. Visualize them and visualize yourself. It's the day of judgment. They experience that sadness. I'm wasting my life. I have regret. Let me be better. Let me be more serious for my future and the Akhirah. وَيَسْتَثِيرُونَ بِهِ دَوَاءَ أَدَائِهِمْ and then they take the medicine of the Qur'an and they put it on the disease of their hearts. These are the true believers. And then the Imam continues to expand on how they visualize. فَهُمْ وَالْجَنَّةُ كَمَنْ قَدْ رَآهَا فَهُمْ فِيهَا مُنَعَّمُونَ It's as if they see and experience heaven from dunya. They have so much yaqeen towards 
the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they can see paradise from here. But at the same time, they take life seriously. They fear the consequences of sins. When it comes to the fire of hell, it's as if they see the fire of hell from dunya. They feel the pain of it. When they think of sins, they feel the fire of hell in this world. This is how we can create quality a'mal during the month of Ramadan. It's all about the quality, not the quantity.